The ICM program is very much about packaging knowledge. So here you deal with innovation. You package it, you control it, sometimes how to patent it and do other intellectual property around it. But the force here is to use your instrumental skills to understand how knowledge can progress and go into new contexts, whether it's from the public to the private or the private to the private sector, innovations will move on through the ICM track. My name is Tavi Genelöv and I used to study the Intellectual Capital Management or ICM track at the Chalmers School of Entrepreneurship. So ICM is short for Intellectual Capital Management and it sounds kind of dopey, but it's actually pretty straightforward. What you do is you manage intangible assets. So you manage knowledge, innovation, trade secrets, all those things you can't necessarily touch, but that's still important. If you've done a project, a research project or whatever, you probably have a bunch of intangible assets, ideas or databases or whatever. That's maybe the most important thing you get out of it. But how do you protect it and how do you build a business from that? Building business based on knowledge is different from building business based on uh, tangible resources. And so it requires a different uh, mindset and a different set of uh, skills. Chalmers School of Entrepreneurship combines top of the line academic uh, university ed education with getting your hands dirty and just facing things you didn't think you'd have to face in an education and getting stronger by it. Creating patent strategies and intellectual property strategies in general, looking at a project, interviewing people, finding out what they've done and what is important. If you want to commercialize an innovation project, for, in for instance, then taking the right steps to protect those assets and maybe filing for patents or trademarks or whatever, making sure to, to uh, get as much value as possible out of the things you've done. So I did my internship uh, at the research center Park or Palo Alto Research Center in Silicon Valley, California, which was pretty awesome. It was pretty dreamy, to be honest, just being there for three months, working with super bright people. I think 80% of the people I worked with had a PhD or better. You kind of feel very junior when you get there, but soon you start to realize that th the things you've been taught here can be used to make an impact there as well. Just all the courses you, you uh, study and all the things you get to do, all the projects they have set up for you, you're thrown into an environment where there's so much exciting things to do and so much uh, good things to learn.